Oh, that was that's loud. That's that's like got to control. Got to control. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our weekly modern tournament here at Grilled Games. My name is Mick. I'm one of your hosts, alongside the suit, Mr. James Church Molly. Yeah, yeah. There's a like, yeah, the normal, the normal stuff, right? The, yeah, it's just. It's it's not like, oh, I've determined the game on turn two. Uh, you know, what's that? Fist of the North Star? Omewa? Uh, you already did? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, what, what is, what's the line? What's the line? Uh, Ome- I was just being hosted for you. Oh, okay. Uh, Omewa Moshinderu. Yeah, that's the one. Omaiwa. 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 Moi Shinderu. Mo, Mo Shinderu, yeah. You are already dead. Uh, that's legacy, I mean, like, yeah, I guess. Anyway, we're watching the match here between Glenn Chong and... Uh, oh, you know what? Your mic's not even on. Was I was I on for the last one? I have a... I have a feeling, no. <laughs> I have a feeling, yeah. Really? I, I think... Uh, was just Ben uh, talking to himself? Yeah, it was Ben talking to himself. And the entire time that... Um, that... Uh, Danny was here... Like the the mic totally not working. He just that, like unscrew that, it. That is, um, that's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I I think Ben did it on purpose, like just to shut Danny up. <laughs> and we're watching a match here between Glenn Chong and Randy Yo. Looks like Glenn's playing some spirits. Yeah, oh yeah, cool. yeah. There we go. Your favorite deck. Oh my favorite deck. Uh, so but it depends. Depends. I do not like Ban Spirits. Don't like and I'll tell you. I'll tell you why. Cause like, you know, you have to get your. You have to have your kill in hand. Like. I I I am a big proponent of your the seven cards that you drew or the six cards that you drew needs to end the game. Like you cannot have waste in your hand and there's no waste in the deck. So uh this looks like the Ban Spirits version. I do not like I do yeah, not like Noble Hierarchs. Okay. So yeah, I don't like Noble Number One, I don't like Noble Hierarchs. Uh they they they're, they're good. They're good. It's just you know, I don't like it in the deck. Uh, I don't like the fact that you're, you know, you're trying to dig like six cards yep. and then trying to find an answer when sometimes like you really just get that unlucky. All the six cards do not have anything, you know, when you need the answer to ooh, path to exile on a hedron crab. crab. Yeah. Okay, we're playing some real magic here. Yeah, he's playing uh, what mill? <laughs> 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 it looks like blue white mill. I saw a path to exile. Oh, that's nice. That's, yeah, that's and they don't play the, bl- the so. The, the Bant Spirits, they don't play um, Aether Vile, right? No. They're, they're more reliant on Noble Hierarch the, and they play like a one and, of Birds of Paradise. Yeah, so the Aether Vile is replaced by Coco. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that, I mean, that's the that's that's the main difference, right? Aether Vile, Aether Vile and Coco. Uh, whereas I feel like Aether Vile is like the, the far superior card. Okay, we're going to see Hedron Crab in all his majestic glory. It has Landfall, one all of right. the Landon's Battlefields. You're gonna uh, you're gonna mill the top three cards of your opponent's library. Let's let's bring it up. I mean, this is something that you don't see very often. So Why are there more than hedron crab? Oh, because there's hedron scrabbler. Okay. Yeah. Hedrons. Lot on, of hedrons on Zend- So we play the same game, right? Yeah, Zendika, How yeah. many uh, gatherer in cards you put in hedron? How many cards come? Yeah, on? yeah, yeah. So uh, let us know in the chat, like how many how many you think, uh, you know, without searching. It's almost more than you think it is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, Hedron Crab, 1 mana, 0, 2, very innocuous creature. You look at him holding on to the Hedron. I love the art. Love the art. It looks, it's so oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. the unthinkable, put the top 13 cards. I love it. Oh, yeah. There we go. Count them up. 9, 10. 10 cards, 10, 10 cards. Oh, top 13, 10, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Our 13, uh, 13 is, is archive, archive trap. trap archive yeah. Trap. He's like, can I just have a look? He's like, yes. Yeah. Does your deck have Ulamok? No. <laughs> Yeah, so rattle chains there, the card. Mm. Um, so you draw to captains, phantasmal images. Like the, this is like the spirits package, right? Yeah. You know, draw to captains, supreme phantom. We saw the new card from M nineteen. Oh, so good. Just lords, so good, it's just yeah. like cards and lords. Yeah. It's, like, perfect, <laughs> it's, right? like, it's cards and lords. Phantasmal this, images to make more cards and more lords. This is like merfolk, you know. Oh, wow. Index surgical extraction. Why am I extracting? Glenn, Glenn calling the judge. Supreme phantom. Okay, so I'm gonna take out I'm all the supreme phantom. Yeah, I know. Uh, well, okay. I think Supreme Phantom is like a faster clock, right? Like you know, you you are able to drop it on turn two, uh, uh yeah. and stuff like that. But I, I mean, uh, and it's easier to cast, like because you have two. But I mean, yeah. 
uh, when we look at Glenn's deck, like this is ostensibly the Barn Spirits version, which yeah. means that the you could get just both. Uh, companies, yeah, you could captain exactly for four mana. You get six six mana as well. So I I think it doesn't really make a, a, a difference. Maybe you should have gone for the spell queller. Yeah. I feel spell you know? queller's gonna take care of glimpses. Oh, but they won't know. Okay, maybe they won't know spell quellers in the uh, in the graveyard. Yeah. Um, and he's going to look at cards in hand. So we see in hand, Glenn has a Rattle Chains, which he can flash in end of turn. Mm. Uh, selfless Spirit, you know, the thing gives the creature instructable a Spell Queller in hand and a uh, Drug Score Captain. No third land. Yeah. So he can play the Rattle Chains, he can play the Selfless Spirit, he cannot play yet. Okay, so he's going to go for Rattle Chains. Uh, sorry, Selfless Spirit and then swing in for two points of damage. And and, that's and Randy's like, that's fine. We're not even playing the same game. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, don't <laughs> like... I don't care about this. <laughs> like, Randy's, Randy's saying, you got 60, you got 60 life. But you started at 53 <laughs> ostensibly. And I'm just taking off. Yeah, and I'm taking off, like, another. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot. Collector All right, there, three damage to you. Yeah. Essentially. Okay, so back to the Hedron, Hedron uh, oh, question. So many. How many? Yeah. There's actually 12 cards with uh, the name Hedron, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> so, <laughs> 10, 11, 12, if yeah. can tell me what Hedron Field Purists does, I would be incredibly impressed. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the level up oh, guy, don't, man. Don't give me the yeah, yeah. Dude. The level up guy. This is the level up dude. Two, two and a white for... A, oh, yeah, so if a, if a source would do you damage, you prevent one. If it's from level one oh, yeah, to yeah. one to four, and then level five and above, That's like... So much mana for so yeah. little. Yeah. It's um, oh, Z Zorda. Zorda. Oh, uh, so great, so, so it's bad. A bit this like card. A weird combo deck, right? In standard for a time, mm. where they like you play the bunch of cheap creatures, play like one pump spell, and then it's like Zarda. yeah, it's all like, of them this, get. This, all, this is a bad <laughs> time for you because they're all getting pumped up now. There was, you know, this was the I think this was the period where we had uh, what's the the one get plus six plus six and trample become events become events. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was the yeah. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play like all these uh, goblin, you know, the, the goblin token makers to you know two mana for two one ones, three mana for three one ones, and then of that Zada oh, and then oh yeah. yeah, and and just nicely on curve, you know, at that point where you get to like five mana, Boom. yeah, I'm gonna okay. just so so there's also hedron alignment, like which has the yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Hedron, Hedron alignment, yeah, the wor the worst enchantment ever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hedron alignment, just awful. The the worst, the best, the baddest, the baddest. Aligned Hedron network. Uh, that that, that definitely one. did not you did not want to to open up in your your sealed pool. It was good. I, I maybe I think in sealed was good. Never saw any standard play. Lousy card. No. Bad Qu card. Quarantine yeah. field was better, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Quarantine field was like hundred times better. Still bad, but better. <laughs> <laughs> So Randy's been reading these spirits a lot. Ah, uh, yeah, it's hot. Um, yeah, Morse and Wonder are less good if you don't have a drug skull captain or a drug skull uh, or a uh, supreme phantom. Uh -huh. It's just counter. It's just a a force spike, right? You know, mm. normally unless yeah. you can pump it up. Uh, but Something. I mean, like with all the lords and with you know yeah. with other creatures entering, other spirits entering in the battlefield, so like you can pump it up. Archive trap. Archive, archive trap. Trap. Yeah. 13. Let's see. One. Did you just say you have twenty six cards left in your deck? I'd be counting. That's that's looking a thin. Yeah, we're gonna have a, a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, it ten. It looks less than an archive trap. And then archive trap again? Oh and, no, he's and that's glimpse, glimpse the unthinkable might do it. Yeah. Let's see. Top deck. And he's got the mana to pay for the for the self spirit. Yeah. So he's gonna bounce. So that's why he does. He bounces uh, Oboro yep. to his hand and after that just lays it. Oh, uh, no, that's a good that's combo. A cool, yeah, that's, that's, a good, that's a very slow combo with Hedron Crab. Oh, well, if you've got like two hit... Can't collect a company anymore. Well, you can. You, you, get, can. you get to put them back, but you know, you're know you not going to hit much. <laughs> you shouldn't. I mean, like then then that's just like a two-turn clock. If I was Glenn, I'd be like counting number of lands mm -hmm. in my graveyard to figure out how many lands and spells I have left in my deck, right? Because most of your deck is... Is gone, table, yeah, right? so exactly. You need to be figuring out what my live draws, because from here the clock is too slow. He can't. This the board as it is cannot be a Oboro bouncing itself and milling him. But he's got the he he's got the drop score captain, and then captain. that just puts you know Randy on a one turn clock. He casts the drop score, you know I cast the drop score captain. Hopefully he doesn't get countered. Uh, I hit you in for five this turn, and next turn uh, you're 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 taking lethal. So uh, there's no like 
you just have to pray that Randy here just doesn't have it. That's it. Full stop. Right? Like, you, it, that's... Come on, Glenn. Do the math. No, that's not the math. So he's, he's, I think he wants to spell Quella. Okay, something. so yeah, he wants to spell that's Quella he's, by... He's like, oh, if you've got a glimpse, I'm going to spell Quella you, but if I bounce it... Oh, we're going to play something. He might just bounce his own land. Okay, so he's going to bounce oh, yeah, his own land. Make him do it. Yeah, I'm going to mill you three one, cards. Two, three. Yeah, Noble High Rock, two uses. Um, oh. Can I Manic Scribe you? Manic Scribe. Let's okay, bring so, Manic Scribe. So this is a Spell Queller, yeah. So Spell Queller that. And now I think he's got the he's got the win. This was very tight. Yeah, so we'll bring up Manic Scribe. Um, so it's one and a blue. So that's three, three, and three. So that's nine points of damage. Yeah, and he says, like, you got me. Wow, okay. Yeah. So it's a Manic right. Scribe. New, relatively new addition, right? Sh uh, yeah, uh, yeah. let's bring it Shows over in the strad. When it enters the battlefield, mill three. Yeah. And then Delirium. So if you have four more different uh, types, mill three. Uh, mill three more. Yeah, at yeah. your opponent's upkeep. Yeah. At each opponent's upkeep. Yeah. So, yeah. Very cute card. Very cute card. Like, it, it has made its way into modern. Uh, I think, you know, Randy's deck, like, it has... It has legs in Randy's deck, but, you know, I don't know if blue... Well, blue-black is usually the colour of choice, but usually it's, uh, you know, Esper, just to increase yeah. your own amount of, like, removal. Yep. Uh, you know, you don't dilute the deck too much with, uh, with Supreme Verdicts and stuff like that, but you usually have some number of those just to wipe the board. Maybe Damnations? Glenn looking long and hard at the sideboard gang. I oh, have no uh, idea. Oh, but Damnation is is bad in this in this setup. Like, yeah, yeah. Versus you know Damnation versus like Selfless Spirit is ah uh, pretty bad. Pretty pretty bad. You do not feel good. Yeah, you do not. The, you do not the feel thing good. with playing these like sort of niche decks, right? You know, I say niche, but like off the wall decks, is that you tend to have a plan for the mm -hmm. modern deck for like well known modern decks yeah. in your sideboard, and they are just like. I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> like, shuffle a card out and then put it back in. Just I to get. To make it look like I've got something. I guess. I have, I have nothing. Mm. So it looks like Glenn's putting Kira the Glass Spinner in. Uh-huh. Um, well, Kira, Kira is... Oh man, I don't like Kira in this matchup. Like, there's no there's no reason why you're bringing it in. I don't like Kira uh, too much uh, ever since they came out with uh, Supreme Phantom. Like, there's no reason why you should be running Kira because you've already got like four... For draw score captains, yeah, but they're good. They're good, and Kira Kira kind of belongs more in the Mofolk deck, right? The f the fact that she's a spirit doesn't just automatically mean that, you know. Uh, I a, I gotta put she's it an honorary in. Merfolk. Yeah, she's an honorary Mofolk. She is. She's. Well, she was in the hundred times. She's all like always been in the mo the, the, the Mofolk. Yeah, like just as a one off. Yeah. Uh, not even a sideboard, like main board, like one off. I'm gonna, but you have to do it. So the problem with it is that you have to you have to do it preemptively, right? You have to do it uh, proactively, and uh, uh, what you call it? It it, it becomes um, very difficult because you're tapping out on your turn. Like that's not what you want to be doing, uh, especially in, like typically in the spirits deck. That's not what you want to be doing. Like you either want like Adaval or Coco at the end, uh, your opponent's end step, or you want to flash in uh, your spirits using uh, what's his name. Um, the the two one rattle chains, Rattle chains, yeah. You know, or spell queller. Like you, you tend to not do stuff on your turn, uh, and they play some amount of removal, uh, and then in the sideboard probably some amount of disruption, like spell pierces, mana leaks, and and, and stuff like that. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I th I think I um, this. <laughs> haven't tested this matchup much, but I feel like spirits presents like slightly too quick of a clock for for, for, for mill. I think yeah, because especially because there there's some disruption, right? Like when you go turn one Mausoleum Wanderer, yeah, and your opponent's like, yo, oh, uh, uh, yeah. yeah, I gotta play it on turn four, yeah. and then he plays like Supreme Phantom and like, next turn is like, yeah, I'm never playing. Full time. Um, yeah, and, and Glenn Glenn looking looking at hand with some action. I just I don't think he's got the the land. He needs no. got Birds of Paradise, right? He goes, but yeah, he's got birds, but I don't oh. think he has. What? Is this the 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 candle? Is this what blood tallow candle from yeah. Dominaria? It's not that. It's no, this is the this is the picture with blood tallow candle, but it's not the. 
Blood Tello Kendall. We're gonna see. He's like he's like you got a land? Yeah, you have. Yeah, okay. I got three lands. So you're gonna see oh a triple is that that's two that's a noble hierarchy breeding for and a plane to the graveyard there. Ouch. Um oh, but nice yeah, nice drop drop horizon canopy. How they found sun taps. Yeah, so he's he's set up like he's got three mana now. Yeah. I think Glenn's in uh, a good position. Yeah. But the fact that he played that out uh indicates to to um Randy that maybe Glenn doesn't have a, a spell colour. When actually, in fact, you know, Glenn does have a spell color. So Supreme Phantom Drogsco Captain floods yeah. try and go to the bin. Um, yeah, this is the thing, right? You know, Glenn's Glenn's gonna present a clock. Yeah, and, but uh, and say uh, what can you do or a glimpse? Doesn't matter. Like he's gaining life off of that that artifact. Whenever a creature enters the battle, uh, enters the graveyard, like you gain a life. And that's one, two, three, four, five, five creatures and he goes up to 28 so i don't like glenn has to drop lord lord and then you know another creature presumably yeah he needs he for needs this for this to work is that a visions from beyond or is a phantasmal image so phantasmal image here with a noble hierarch so yeah phantasmal so i think he's copying the drug skull captain yep so they're both going to be four fours with both of hexproof, oh, okay. and then a mausoleum wanderer. Yeah. So that's that's a that's a that's eleven points per turn. Yeah. And a noble hero. Come on, finish up with do the it. noble hero. Do it. Do it. It's like your life is not important, right? Your life yeah. total is not important. Yep. Just it doesn't matter. You could be at one, and he's not going <laughs> to attack you with a hedron crab. You know, it's like. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and they're not going to slide into the super secret like creature tech. They're not going to be like, ah, I uh, got gotcha. you. You slided out all your removal. I bought in like I don't know my Sun Titan. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> I know some misc. Like I bought in my Gideon Jurors or something. You know, it's never gonna, I'm going to just attack you with a four four every turn. Um, oh no! Does he think he's going to be playing a path to exile? It right. looks like it, but he can't. He can, the only thing he can pass to exile is the Birds of Paradise. Yeah, which is well unfortunate. Obviously, not going to happen, right? Like this is it needs like damnation right now. I'm going to see the Noble Hierarch attack you for four, down to twenty three, a modest twenty three. Yeah, uh, well, every turn he's going to be attacking him for what? Three, three, three. Damnation, nine. damnation. Even with the land not good enough because of the Mausoleum Wanderer. Uh yeah. Uh, it needs to be. It needs to be. Uh, what do you call it? The supreme verdict. Supreme verdict. Supreme yeah. Yep. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. No, no land on Randy's side, so no supreme verdict. And he drops the land, and then supreme verdict, and then like Glenn's in a lot of trouble right now. I mean, I think if he had that, he would have already done it. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I, I, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, you know, play a land. You know, mill three, play supreme verdict. Just destroy say, you. Your go? Question mark. <laughs> um, are we gonna see? All right. So he's I gonna mean, try with manic manic scry. Well, it's not gonna be doing any blocking. Is not. Here we go. One, two, three. Off yeah. the top. There's the selfless spirit. You know, the uh, supreme verdict. Yeah, supreme verdict protector. Visions from beyond. Uh, I make you draw a card? Oh, no. Why oh, you try to draw a card? Try to draw three cards. Yeah, spell color here. No. Just uh, swinging now. Just like the whole... Yeah. the whole. He just has to go in, keep going in for like six each turn. Uh, that's four turns. And if Randy can like find a, an answer... And he does have... I mean, Glenn has the answer to Supreme Verdict now, right? In the form of Spell Queller. Yep. That does help you get rid of... Another one. Okay. Creature, okay. You not going to counter? You want to, to counter? And I think he should counter because like that adds so much more to... Yeah, to the clock. To the, death, right, to yeah. the clock, yeah. To the damage. Oh, oh. mesmeric orb. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Untap your permanence, please. Oh, yeah. That, that's fun. That's fun. This is this this fun. Just baiting him out with the. the <laughs> <laughs> but he needed. I mean, like he could have used that, right? Yeah. Like that would have been very very useful. Thing is, even mesmeric orb is not quick enough against this clock. I don't think. 
Um, well, that's nine, ten points of damage you send. So it's a two-turn clock, but uh, well, he's presumably, gain some life, presumably, yeah, he's just going from, to graveyard. Yep. So we'll see how much, right? Oh, you got, you got loads of cards. If there's a glimpse of a uh, glimpsey, I'm thinking about on the top. I think Randy might be in business. They'll give him another two turns. Yep. So we're going to see draw Horizon Canopy. That feels bad if you're drawing off for Untapped. Horizon Canopy. So you go uh, so six, is that right? For one card for each. Yep. So you Mesmeric Orb, whenever you untap a permanent, put the top card of your library into a graveyard. Yep. And then Randy's like, I'm going to gain three life for the for the trouble of you doing that. <laughs> It's not a bad combo. Is it? Yeah. Not bad at all. It's nice, nice. Any card. land is good, right? Is, has Ra Any, Randy hasn't uh, Randy hasn't got delirium, right? He's only yeah. got three cards in graveyard, or oh, another Muslim Wanderer. Oh, that guy's big. That's like a three-three right now. Yeah. It's a mana leak. A one mana mana leak. For instant sorceries. Yep. So yeah. Do you ten? Oh, ten, no, do right? ten, ten. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, ten. Yeah. Two, three, four. You can't block. It's got flying. They are spirits. So down to 13. And so again, uh, still a two turn clock because uh, Glenn so Randy's going to mulligan, fatal push, flood strand island. That's good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Bad cards. Bad cards go to the bottom. Only good cards get to stay. But you know, that helps him get himself delirium. Yeah. To, for the Manic Scribe. Well, he's got instant, instant land and sorcery, and that's it. Like he doesn't, yeah. he still doesn't have enough. He needs one more mill of of uh, Glen. Well, he's uh, he's going to get like three more cards off of Glen. Mm -hmm. Mesmeric on number two. Just slam it, slam it on the table. So if you want to attack, you gotta. So the pro the problem is that Glenn, like, if he only mills this one creature, it's not enough. It's getting a hit attacking with zero twos. What? And zero threes. Randy, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm like. What's go What's in hand? It's got to be a combat. Like, what combat trick is the? Mil He's like, what's in the graveyard? Uh, like, what's what going you, on what here? Have? What's going on here? Oh, you want to? You want me to kill one guy? Yeah, but I will kill the manic scribe, right? Yeah. Gonna that's build. four. He needs to hit at least two creatures, and that's zero creatures, and that means that's it. So yeah. Randy's gonna be taking thirteen damage, you no, know, regardless. Draw a card, beat you in. Swing, swing, swing. And that's a handshake. Yeah, okay. So Glenn's deck. Faster. Faster than the uh, mill deck. And I think, yeah, uh, correctly taking out the life gain. The life gain too. Actually, I would have left the life gain too. You think you can race it? Yeah. For sure. For sure. I mean, nice. Mesmeric Orb is... Mesmeric Orb is more of a threat to the deck, right? Because, yeah. it, you know, you're tapping Punish your lands for mana. Attacking. Yeah, yeah. It punishes you for attacking. Punishes you for... For for uh for casting creatures and stuff, so yeah. It's um I'll tell you what, if humans are the number one most loved tribe in in Magic, mm -hmm. right? Spirits cannot be far behind, right? Really? No, I, no, I, no, okay, not, now, it's now, now it's it's the it's the in thing now. I I've been right. playing the deck for like two two plus years, but it's the in thing now. Everybody's like, yeah. We just have spirits and elves. Zombies, like they, these are all serious. These are all yeah, serious. like zombies dragons. Less so, right? Elves is a good dragons. Yeah, but angels. Talking, talking about like real magic. Real right? magic. Not, like come commander, on, dragons. Like, yeah, whatever, <laughs> angels, whatever. Right, humans are the number one. Tribe yeah, yeah for that's, sure. That's undisputed. For sure. They have cards that do everything and everything. Undisputed, color. yeah. But spirits. Nah, I don't. Good. I don't think there's enough sp spirits. But this deck is good. This deck's good. And it's in ban, blue, white, and desper. There and are, like, like you have like yeah. There and the core is in blue, white. Right, and you're going into mm. green for collective company. You're going to black for like for Brim and lingering souls. Yeah, and stuff yeah. Like that, so. But like you know, these are these are powerful decks. These, yeah, these are like powerful linear decks that go. Here are some threats. Have you got <laughs> yeah. an answer? Because you got an answer, you but I got an answer for your answer. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's just a, it's like magic. <laughs> 
Like, you go, Supreme Verdict can't be counted, no problem. Just exile. No, no, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll just exile it. And then on the stack, just exile my guy so yeah. that you'll never be able to get it back. Oh, so bad. Oh, magic. All right, uh, we are going to take a break. We'll be back in about half an hour's time, so don't go away. Remember, you can join us on the stream normally on Wednesday nights, 8 p.m. Singapore time, twitch.tv slash Games. Uh, you can also join us on youtube.com slash Games and watch all the replays over there. Uh, last but not least, you can check out our website, greyogagames.com, if you want to find out more about the Invitationals. It's not too late to participate, so, uh, you know, mosey on down. And uh, yeah, do check out us. Check us out on our social media streams: uh, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Roku, Yoku, Moku, mm. all the cuckoo cool social medias. Cuckoos. All right. <laughs> uh, we'll be back in a short while, so don't go away. <laughs> 